guys, it's Deathlock here. Today we're going to be talking about some rather interesting information that's been found out recently uh, in regards to Call of Duty 2024, which we currently know as Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War. Now, as the name suggests, this game will most likely be set in the 1990s period. Uh, so, and we've got some rather interesting potential predictions on when we can expect certain information regarding this new Call of Duty game. Now, this information comes from uh, Exo Vondi, or Vondi is Pog, on Twitter or X. Um, and just be aware here, guys, none of this information is uh, confirmed at this present moment in time. This is just purely prediction, so take this information with a grain of salt. So, he's predicted um, that the following um, potential announcements could be coming within the next few months or so. So the first announcement we could potentially get during the middle of May. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I was checking on my Facebook memories recently and I've noticed that um, in regard to Call of Duty Black Ops 3, so this was about five or six years ago now, um, maybe even eight years ago, um, we actually got the very first teaser trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, uh, which contained like lots of symbols that were flying around all over the screen. There was like certain like... Um, Think of the word I'm searching for here. Um, coordinates that uh, showed us different locations during that trailer, and all of these symbols and different glyphs and things like that all came together to reveal what appeared to be an operator. So, uh, if you guys think back to that, uh, we could potentially see the, the very first teasers uh, happening potentially within the next few weeks or so, but we'll have to wait and see on that. So, the first announcement could potentially be during mid May. There could potentially be a worldwide reveal of some description happening in the late of May. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what kind of worldwide reveal that would be, but um, we'll have to wait and see what's happened for that. A uh, campaign reveal happening on June the 9th. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's during like, the uh, period of the... I think there's like an Xbox uh, festival that's happening on that date, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have to wait and see what uh, happens there. Multiplayer reveal happening on early August. A uh, potential zombies reveal happening during the middle of August. Multiplayer beta early September, campaign early access late September, and potentially for the first time, zombies early access happening in early October, with a launch happening towards the back end of October, potentially October the 25th. So they're really interesting predictions, which could more or less fall in line with uh, what could potentially happen in reality, but uh, again, take these leaks with a pinch of salt. Now, uh, Charlie Intel has actually backed up another couple of uh, rather interesting uh, posts that this Cod Fondi or Exo Fondi um, has posted online. Now, again, take these leaks with a pinch of salt as well. Among the Call of Duty 2024 leaked information, Fondi's blog posted on X a complete weapon, perk, and streaks list, plus answered some of the community's biggest concerns about multiplayer following Treyarch's main last game, Black Ops Cold War. As of now, according to Vondius Pog, the game is expected to have over 50 weapons, including some fan favourite ones returning, as well as some new Gulf War tied ones. These allegedly include the Lachman Sub, Tac F, M16, plus others. Now, uh, so basically, what he's uh, given to us is a list of different weapons, which include the M4S, Cast Off 74, which could be the AK 74, the Krieg C, or the Ketme Model L, the Vap P. Sorry, the VAP-9, or the AS Val, the M16, or the M16A2, SA-87, or the L85A1, the FTAC Light, or the AR-18, the R2, the SR-8, or the SAR-80, the NF-57, or the SG-542, C-58, or the Ketme Model C, TAC-F, or the FAL, cast 73 or the AA, sorry, AEK-973, cast m or the Gepard PDW, Raptor 9, the FA Fame SAF, Lachman Sub or the MP5, the VAP 2 or the SR2 Varesque, MD97L or the MBEL MD1, VCAR or the Grendel R31, the VAP 3, the SR3 VIKHR, the FMG 9 or the PB90, the AMR 9 or the M500, the OCP 500, the Roku 360 or the USAS, the Olympia, the Super Sport or the Remington 11, uh, LRC 308, the AR10, IP 545 or the PU21, the Saw H or the KSP58, Saw L, the MK18 or the M16 MK12, 
the Camrus or the AMI Romat, Vap M or the VSS Ventura, Castov 97, the Tempest Torrent, the Liana 550, the Castov M, otherwise known as the Dragonov, the Ratio P, the Ratio H, I'm not sure which ones those are, the LW3 or the Tundra, or the LKA, the L9680 A1. LAC 9 or the USP 9, LAC 45 or the USP 45, the Makarov pistol, GP 13 or the Stechkin APS, the Grendel P 30, the TAC handheld or the 57, the Beretta M9, the M72 Law, the Panzerfaust 3, the FIM 92 Stinger, the Hunting Knife, the Scout Knife, and the Breaching Tool. So, perks and equipment. So, similar to weapons, the perk list could retain some popular picks and a few new additions. Uh, so, it's expected to bring over 30 perks for players to select from, which include Overkill, Ghost, Restock, Spotter, Battle Hardened, Shrapnel, Cold Blooded, Bomb Squad, Grave Robber, Fast Hands, Quick Fix, Hardline, Underkill, Scavenger, Flex, Overclock, Survivor, Operative, Anti Up, Dexterity, Strong Arm, Stalker, Primed, Focus, Bounty Hunter, Double Time, Ninja, Hustle, Heavy Metal, and Huntmaster. So, Huntmaster and Heavy Metal appear to be two of the new ones, so we don't have any descriptions for those, but that's interesting to think about. Uh, equipment and Field Upgrades C4, the IED, Impact Grenades, Molotov Cocktails, Frag Grenade, Cluster Grenade, Centex Grenade, Thermite Grenade, Combat Axe, Drill Charge, Thermobaric Grenade, Shock Stick, Proximity Alarm, Decoy, EMP Grenade, Flashbang, Smoke Grenade, Stun Grenade, Tactical Insertion, Adrenaline Shot, Spotter Scanner, Gas Mine, Jammer, Land Mine, Ammo Pack, Shield, Revive Gun, Spy Cam, Rally and Trophy System. So those are really interesting there. Um, most of you guys probably recognise a few of these uh, score streaks here about to read on screen. RCXD for 350, Spy Plane for 450, Honey Pot for 500, which is deploys a fake cat package that will detonate upon a picked up by an enemy player. So I think we've seen something like that before, if I'm not mistaken. Cat package for 550, Counter Spy Plane or Counter UAV. For 600, Grim Reaper for 650, equip a devastating rocket launcher that fires four high explosive shells. Artillery, I think that's, I think we've had that before, I think it was in World at War, if I'm not mistaken. So that's really interesting for 675. 700, Booby Trap, throw down a trap that launches a cluster of small mines within the immediate area upon being triggered by enemy footsteps. Napalm Strike for 725. Hand Cannon, uh, I don't think there's ever been a score streak from my understanding. Uh, could potentially be the exact same thing as the Annihilator in, in case of zombies, but uh, I think this could just potentially be a just a revolver pistol. I'm not sure why they'd have put that as a potential score streak, but uh, let's wait and see. Hellstorm missile that's been in the Black Ops series um, in the past for 800. Century for 850. War Machine for 900. Valkyrie rocket or V2 rocket launcher with more controlled rockets. For that for 925. Cerberus MK0, remote controlled UGV with a powerful airburst turret. Death Machine, Night Hawk for 1100 there. Um, trying to remember, was that the. I'm trying to think back to uh, previous card titles, I'm trying to remember what it was also known as. I think it might be the Stealth Bomber, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Attack Chopper, Gas Strike. Now, this could potentially be the. Um, Try remember what it was uh, called in the past. It's a white, a white gas. I forget its name. White phosphorus. It's just came to my head now. Attack chopper for twelve hundred. Gas tyke for thirteen hundred. Like I said, chopper gunner for fourteen fifty. Harp. The high altitude re reconnaissance plane. Um, so that's for fifteen hundred. Sniper's nest seventeen fifty. Air patrol two thousand and nuke for thirty kills. So that's very, very interesting information, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and thoughts are. This in the comments box down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you in the next one. Till then, peace out.